This is my signal bridge. It's a uh, erector set construction, as you can see. And uh, I did uh, fabricate some mounts for the uh, LEDs here and ran wires down. I only needed to run one wire, but it was easier actually to run the two. Um, the LEDs are red and green, depending on which polarity that uh, uh, you send to them, which signal you send to them. The wires will, the wires will be connected to a, uh, as I said, to a double pole, double throw uh, AC relay, which will be operated from the track a rail clip and the center rail of the track will trigger this and it will swap the polarity when the train is on the rail clip. This is a test of my signal bridge. The uh, lights are red now. Uh, this seems backwards, but this is the instructions for the Marks Bridge. And I have a relay. And I have one lead going to the center rail, one lead going to a rail clip. When the train comes down the track, it basically shorts between the center rail and the rail clip and you get green lights off you get red on you get green okay here's the setup uh, I ended up not using the rail clip it uh, doesn't work real well on curves so I just happen to have an isolated section right here that it's just in the right place so I'm using that instead of the uh, the rail clip to trigger the lights. And let's get a train going here. You'll note that the uh, signal bridge lights change to green when the train approaches. And hopefully, yes, they turn back to red when the train passes. And um, also have my crossing signal going and my uh, beacon tower. So it's a little active on that end of the track, but fun. <laughs> 